welcome back to the class of grade 4th english literary reader so today we are going to discuss about the second chapter of the new learning to communicate the elephant's child lesson 1 elephant's child lesson 1 this story is written by redyard kipling he was an he was a journalist and a poet as well as a playwright novelist and another thing that about him about the novelist about this right writer he is born in india he was born in india and died in london he was an english journalist he was an english journalist see think about you have to keep in mind our writer he was born in india and died in london so this story is uh, explaining about uh, an elephant elephant's child a small elephant so always uh, speaking about this elephant what what it is see explaining about this elephant this elephant is always asking questions always asking questions to uh, his family to the to others and all so uh, after let's go for seeing animation video of this elephant's child this chapter elephant's child so after seeing this animation video we can discuss about our topic about our lesson this lesson after that we can go for activity also In the far off times the elephant had no trunk he had only a bulgy nose as big as a boot but he couldn't pick anything up with it but there was one elephant an elephant's child who was full of insatiable curiosity which means he asked ever so many questions asked his tall aunt the ostrich why her tail feathers grew just so huh. he asked his tall uncle the giraffe what made his skin spotty He asked his broad aunt the hippopotamus why her eyes were so red. Mm. No. 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 And he asked his hairy uncle the baboon why melons tasted just so. Mm. And still he was full of insatiable curiosity. Then one morning the elephant's child asked a question that he had never asked before. He asked, "What does the crocodile have for dinner?" Hmm. Shh. Hmm. Shh. Hmm. Shh. Said all his uncles and aunts in a dreadful tone. By and by He came upon Kolo Kolo bird sitting in the middle of a wait a bit thorn bush and he said My uncles and aunts told me to hush but I still want to know what the crocodile has for dinner Then Kolo Kolo bird said Go to the banks of the great grey green greasy Limpopo river all set about with fever trees and find out That very next morning the insatiable elephant's child took 100 pounds of bananas, 100 pounds of sugarcane and 17 melons and told all his dear family very politely that he was going to the great grey green greasy Limpopo river all set about with fever trees to find out what the crocodile has for dinner. He went from Grahamstown to Kimberley 
and from Kimberley to Karma's country. And from Karma's country he went east by north, eating bananas, sugar cane and melons all the time. At last he came to the banks of the great grey-green greasy Limpopo River, all set about with fever trees, precisely as Colo Colo Bird had said. Now, until that very week and day and hour and minute, this elephant's child had never seen a crocodile and did not know what one was like. It was all his insatiable curiosity. The first thing that he found was a bicolored python rock snake curled upon a rock. Excuse me, said the elephant's child most politely, but have you seen such a thing as a crocodile in these curious parts? Have I seen a crocodile? said the bicolored python rock snake. I'm sorry to have disturbed you, said the elephant's child very politely, and went on until he trod on what he thought was a log of wood. But it was really the crocodile. Excuse me, said the elephant's child, but do you happen to have seen a crocodile in these curious parts? Come hither, little one, said the crocodile, for I am a crocodile. Then you are the very person I have been looking for all these long days. Will you please tell me what you have for dinner? I think today I will begin with Elephant's Child. At this, the Elephant's Child was much annoyed. Then the bicolored python rock snake came down to the bank and said, Pull as hard as you can. So the Elephant's Child sat back on his little haunches and pulled and pulled and pulled. And the crocodile pulled and pulled and pulled. And the Elephant's Child's nose kept on stretching. And he said, this is too much for me. The bicolored python rock snake came down and knotted himself round the elephant's child's hind legs and said, We will now seriously devote ourselves to a little high tension. So he pulled, and at last the crocodile let go and disappeared into the limpopo. The elephant's child said thank you to the bicolored rock snake and went home across Africa, frisking and whisking his new trunk. When he was back with his dear family, his hairy yeah. uncle, yeah. the baboon, yeah. Yeah. asked him, yeah. what have you done to your nose? I've got a new one from the crocodile on the banks of the great grey green greasy Limpopo River, said the elephant's child. It looks very ugly, said his hairy uncle. <whistles> it does, said the elephant's child. But it's very useful. <whistles> the elephant's child also pulled out his tall aunt's tail feathers tripped up his tall uncle giraffe and blew bubbles into the ear of his broad aunt hippopotamus. But he never let anyone touch the colocolo bird. And ever since that day, all the elephants you will ever see besides all those you won't, have trunks precisely like the trunk of the elephant's child. Yeah, have you gone through this animation video properly? So how about, how do you feel now about this story? Did you get any idea about the naughtiness of this small elephant, I mean elephant's child? Long, long ago, there was no trunk for elephants. They are having only a small nose, it could be turned around, turned to side by side. There was no trunk and all. After there was born a child, elephant's child with a small trunk. And this ele elephant's child, I mean the small elephant was asking too many questions. And he asked in his family, 
many questions and they they spanked him spanked him he asked he asked his family about i mean simple silly questions and the family members they spanked him spanked means it's a new word so note down spanked spanked means hit as a punishment hit or beat or kick as a punishment bottom of the body see and after this question our child i mean elephant's child what ha- what happened he asked to his tall angle he asked to his tall angle tall angle giraffe how did you get this old spots in your body how it happened all all many spots in your skin he was not interested he, he didn't like that question he also spanked our elephant's child with his hard hard food spanked you may know spanked with hard hard food means it will be like a kick okay fine and he was so tense the elephant's child then he went to his ha- andy we went to his andy rhinoceros he just asked a question what how did you get this horn she also spanked him she also spanked him after that he went to baboon his uncle baboon he just asked a question simple question how why did leaves why did leaves falling down when it's turned to yellow when leaves turning to yellow color why it is falling down so with that simple question he also spanked him this is what means about this elephant's child he was asking simple silly questions maybe like foolish questions and all but he wanted to know he is very curious about to know the answers of these old questions and this is the story this is the story about this elephant's child so we can go to we can go through our chapter properly so you do one thing just open your textbook we can go through the chapter thoroughly okay let's open your textbook first ah uh, yes so let's open you just open your textbook as i told you page number 12 keep on keep in front of your textbook we can just go through the lesson okay the elephant's child chapter number 2 lesson 1 the elephant's child wants to know everything one day when his family is banging him for asking too many questions he goes to the crocodile for an answer does the crocodile spank him to the question the first paragraph we are starting the chapter listen long long ago when the world was young elephants had no trunk see in the pre in the old days means ancient days there was no trunk for elephants but they had a nose as small as a boot they could move it about from side to side but they could not drink with it or pick up things with it they could not they cannot take anything and they cannot drink with that nose they had a nose only small nose what uh, they had a nose only as small as a boot okay and there was an elephant's child who lived in africa there was a elephant's child who lived in africa he was always asking questions he was always asking questions he asked his tall angle the giraffe why he had so many sports see sports means that design uh, that design on uh, in the body of in the skin of giraffe you can see you, you know that uh, there is a sport there are sports means design that uh, round round designs so elephant style asked why he had so many sports this angle did not like this uh question and he spanked him with his hard hard food with his le- leg with his leg with his food he spanked him spanked means it's a new word hit on the bottom as punishment hit or beat or kick whatever it is as punishment okay so keep in mind that new word then he asked his uncle the baboon he asked again his uncle the baboon before that he asked see he asked his uh, rhinoceros is asked the elephant child asked is and the rhino rhinoceros how she got her horn rhinoceros is having a horn so 
he asked her, how did she get that home? She, she also spanked him too. After he asked his uncle the baboon, why the leaves fell when they turned yellow? You know, leaves, leaves color is uh, like green. It's green. It will be green color leaves. So after some days and all, it will become yellow. It will become yellow. After it became yellow, it will come down. See, you can see in the floor and ground everywhere. Uh, the f f f means falling down after fell down from tree it will become in the ground so after turning that color green from green to yellow it is coming down it is falling down why it is so so see and yes the he also spanked the elephant's child baboon also spanked the elephant's child too but that did not stop the elephant's child from asking questions this old spanks or this old punishment did not stop our elephant's child from asking questions he was always curious to know many things whenever he was he wanted to know any questions he if whenever he is having any doubts or any clarification he will ask to anyone this is what the character of our elephant's child you understood maybe that see after that one fine morning the elephant's child asked a new question what does the crocodile have for dinner what does the crocodile have for dinner he is asking what will be the food for dinner for crocodile what will be the uh, item for our for a crocodile for dinner time for dinner what will be the item all other animals said shh be quiet be silent and they all spanked him again then all spanked him again they told first be quiet keep quiet silent and they all spanked him again sometime later the elephant's child met the colo colo bird sitting on a branch met the colo colo bird sitting on a branch colo colo bird said the elephant's child my family spanks me for asking questions but nobody answers me everyone from my family they are they are not answering my question but instead they are instead of saying answer they are spanking me they are they spanked me they spanked me so i want to know what the crocodile has for dinner he also he, this elephant's child asked kologolo also the same question what the crocodile has for dinner the kologolo bird gave a long and cry go go to the bank of the great grey green limbobo river she told kolo kolo bird kolo kolo bird told to our elephants elephants child what go to the bank of the great grey limbobo river limpopo river say name of river and what is the bank of the river bank of the river means it's a side edge of the river means edge of the sea edge of the sea we are calling seashore so river edge we are calling bank bank of the river see there definitely you will find your answer for your question see if you go there if you go there where go there means where great grey green limbobo river bank of great grey green limbobo river definitely you will get the answer for your question the next morning the elephant's child took lots of fruits and said to his family goodbye i'm going to the great grey green limpopo river goodbye everyone i'm going i'm going to the great grey green limpopo river there i shall find what the crocodile has for dinner definitely i can get answer i will i can understand what will be the item what will be the dinner for a crocodile so next page 14 they forbade they forbade him to go and spanked him again see forbade it's a new word forbade forbade means do not allow to go anywhere do not allow to do anything do, ban uh, there is a uh, new word uh, it's a given the meaning in the box ordered not to do something ordered not to do something see forbade means ordered not to do something then i'm saying for you understand do not allow or don't allow to do anything don't allow to do anything this is what the answer and what our elephant's child was doing he was decided to go to the river bank of river then his family forbade him don't do not allow him to go and not only do not allow see they spanked him again till he most politely asked them to stop please stop this please stop this 
he politely asked them angry with his family very angry the elephant's child very angry with his family the elephant's child decided to go to the river however i want to go to the river everyone there for every means always they are spanking me instead of saying answer against my questions so i definitely i will go i have to go he was angry he was angry as he trudged as he trudged along trudged means walked here in the box given walked slowly means if you are walking uh, long distance you will become very tired so your walking style will be very very slow like a tired person this is what trudged trudged means very tired walking slowly as a tired person okay he ate his fruit because he walked a long distance he has taken many fruits from his home when he decided to leave from his home uh, to meet uh, to reach our bank of river he ate his fruits and he dropped the skin and seeds of the seeds of the fruits on the ground because he could not pick them up see after eating see if you are eating orange if you are eating orange there will be orange skin of orange and seeds and all so where you will keep that normally you will keep that in the dustbin am i right you will keep it keep it that in the dustbin this our elephant's child he has taken he has he ate his fruits and dropped put the skin and seeds of the fruits on the ground because he was not able to carry along with him he was not able to pick them up because of uh, it's just before told he was very tired along because of he was walking along walked along and he was very tired that's why then at last he reached the banks of the great gray green limpopo river he reached the banks of the great gray green limpopo river and started looking for the crocodile he was started after immediately after reached there in uh, bank of the limpopo river he started searching for the for the crocodile but he did not know what the crocodile looked like see you don't know what will be the figure out figure of a crocodile he, he didn't see uh, since now he since last means till now he didn't see a crocodile he don't know how will be how will be the look look of a crocodile how will be the figure of a crocodile he don't know he just started searching everywhere then the elephant's child so a long black and gold snake lying on a rock see a long black and gold snake lying on a rock enjoying the sun see a long black and gold color snake he was laying on a rock enjoying the sun excuse me excuse me said the elephant's child have you seen the crocodile anywhere here anywhere have you seen the crocodile he just asked out to the snake what a silly question uh, our snake replied what a silly question said the snake he spanked the elephant's child with his long black and gold tail see elephant he our this snake also spanked him with his long black and gold tail and went sliding away he went away from there how uh, how we can say uh, snake will can we say snake walked or snake walk or snake walks can we say no snake will slide slide away slided away or from that place have you seen this after when sliding away from that place slide or sliding or slided away from there the elephant's ch child was surprised by the snake's action elephant's child was surprised by the snake's action he walked along the bank see bank the meaning it's a, here it is marked as new word we have seen that same word in the uh, before paragraph also so here it is given yeah given edge of the river side of the river beside of the river means see we are calling sea shore river side of edge of the river we are calling uh, bank so here and he walked along the bank until he saw a dead tree at the edge of the great gray limpopo river see until he walked until when he saw a dead tree a dead tree the edge of the great gray limpopo river he has seen a dead tree when he came closer to that dead tree he saw that 
he saw that it was not a dead tree but a living creature it's a living creature because maybe after reaching after reaching close to that he maybe this item this he felt because if he felt that it's a tree only dead tree so it may be moving or it may be uh, moving around or moving somewhat doing something so he understood that it's a creature it's a living creature and he just went on excuse me said the elephant's child most politely most politely to that creature but have you seen a crocodile anywhere please have you seen a crocodile anywhere it's a sentence okay you can ask this uh, question you can ask the same question to your mom have you seen have you seen my chapel anywhere here have you seen my shoes anywhere here you can ask in your family you can ask this is very polite way of asking have you seen my pen mommy have you seen my bag have you seen my shoes have you seen my lunch box you can ask like this questions in your line life okay please if you are if you are keeping that please it will become more polite okay the creature opened his eyes and lifted half his tail out of the mud he was in the mud the, this creature was in the mud it was feeling like a dead tree be before it may be lied in the mud and creature opened his eyes and lifted half his tail out of the mud the elephant's child took a step back elephant's child took a step back see elephant's child took a step back why come here my little friend there's that creature called him come here my little friend said the crocodile said the crocodile why don't you come closer to me why don't you why don't you come closer to me the elephant's child answered everyone in my fang family spanks me for asking questions everyone in my family spanks me for asking questions i don't want to be spanked again from you see if i am coming closer to you you may be you may you may spank me you also may spank me so i don't want to get a spank i don't want to be spanked from you again come here little one said the crocodile come here little one said the crocodile i am the crocodile and i can answer your question i promise you i won't spank you i promise you i won't spank you then elephant's child was very excited he went down on his knees on the river bank and said see he went down on his knees how to go how to when they are saying went down how to move uh, down his knees means after bending his leg it will become on knees so after bending his next uh, legs he went down on his knees on the river bank and said will you really answer my question will you really answer my question and you want to spank me very well then very well what do you have for dinner then elephant's child the same question asked her to the crocodile what do you have you, he understood that this is the crocodile crocodile told him i am the person who whom you are searching for i am the crocodile whom you, you are searching for so he asked her directly what do you have for dinner then our crocodile told him come near come close to me my little friend come near my little friend said the crocodile and i will whisper in i will whisper it in your ear i will whisper it in your ear whisper means speaking very slowly without much much voice very less voice in by standing or by keeping mouth close to the other person close to the ear of other person very slowly whisper whispering okay so find the meaning of whisper also so this lesson first is ended then we are having the second lesson also of this elephant's child we will discuss the uh, rest of the part the balance of the story in the second lesson then we can go for activities the activity page number 16 please open page number 16 let's think first question why do you think all the animals spanked the elephant child why do you think all the animals spanked the elephant child the reason of spanking spanked all the animals to whom elephant child a he asked too many question b they did not they did not know the answers the reasons the reasons are saying 
see they did not want to talk to him they don't want to talk to him then second one b is they don't know answer that's why they're spanking then first one he asked too many questions that is the reason what is the reason just find out the answer second one why did the elephant's child ask so many questions what was the reason this elephant's child was asking so many questions what what is the reason why did elephant's child ask so many questions third one why did the crocodile think he was going to have for dinner crocodile was thinking something when our elephant's child reached close to the crocodile he may be thinking crocodile may be thinking something what did the crocodile think he was going to have for dinner then fun with words look at these two words don and wand ask your teacher why they have a small comma before t what is this don and wand you know what is wand and don see don means the full form of don is it's a short form don do not do not that is the full form of don't don't means do not okay one means will not that is the full form of won't won't is the short form of will not so don't forget okay b the elephant's nose was as small as a boot it's a usage okay it's an idiom it's an idiom elephant's nose was a small as a boot Let's make similar comparisons by matching the words and the two columns. There, there, there are given two boxes, column A and column B. See, in the first column, as red as, as white as, as black as, has, hard as, as soft as. In the column B, snow, coal, cotton wool, apples, iron, and this is uh, in the first column it is given uh, as red as then here some things are given uh, well, some things means there are some things in the uh, uh, fruit is there cotton wool is there coal is there coal snow iron and your first one as red as I am telling you the first one only answer okay as red as apples that is the first answer so you have to find the all other four answer then last one now use these expressions in the following sentences which expressions which is given above in the box you have to find the answers if you are having any doubts if you are having any doubts on this if you are very feeling very difficult to find the answer you can contact me okay no problem then now use these expressions in the following sentences first one the baby is healthy it's its cheeks are its cheeks are as red as apples as red as apples and its eyes are as black as as black as dash and my grandmother's hair is as white as what you have to find from that uh, the answer from the before activity okay then third one the bread is tail it is as hard as dash but the buns are fresh they are as soft as dash you have to find the answers as i told you and write this all the new words and this activity in your notebook don't forget that i will give you the new words all the new words in the next i mean uh, in the screen you can see all the new words you have to write down all the new words you have to do these activities answer the questions and all okay and so we can wind up today's class i hope that you have understood everything i mean all the chapters all the lessons all the answers all the activities and all so let me wind up with your permission thank you have a nice day